Hello. In this video, check this out. Definition. Suppose we have a set. We say that this set is an empty set. If for every object x, x is not an element of that set. And we assume that such a set exists, right? We assume that there is in fact a set that is an empty set. Here's a theorem. An empty set is a subset of every set. All right, so this is what we're gonna prove. Now, we're trying to prove a statement about an empty set. So give me a set that is an empty set. And we wanna prove that this set is a subset of every set. So to do that, give me an arbitrary set. I'll call it A. And all we gotta do is show that our empty set is a subset of A. Since A is an arbitrary set, this means that our empty set is a subset of every set, if we can show that our empty set is a subset of A. Okay, so then what does it mean for our empty set to be a subset of A? Well, by definition, what that means is for every object x, if x is an element of our empty set, then x is an element of A. So to prove that our empty set is a subset of A, this is what we got to prove. So we're trying to prove a statement about all objects x. So give me an arbitrary object x. Now remember, our set here is an empty set. And by definition of an empty set, what that means is for every object x, x is not an element of our empty set. So since we have an object x right here, we know that means x is not an element of our empty set. So x is not an element of our empty set. But then that means if x is an element of our empty set, then x is an element of A. Right? Because this is true, this statement is vacuously true. So we've proven this statement. And since x is an arbitrary object, this means for all objects x, this is true. So we have proven this statement, which means we have proven that our empty set is a subset of A. But then, since A was an arbitrary set, this means for all sets A, our empty set is a subset of A. And this completes our proof. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.